Stonewall in Dallas. It is the end of an era. They've moved on from Ezekiel Elliott, releasing him earlier this week. Of course, the number four overall pick in the 2016 draft came in with Dak Prescott. They're close as brothers and Dak addressing his buddy a little earlier this week. Playing the game with a brother, being able to, 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 to start this NFL career and uh, share, share so many memories and um, grow up as men, grow up as men uh, with, throughout the, with this organization. I really can't imagine taking the field without him. Uh, something I don't know if it's completely hit me yet. Um, obviously, I've talked to, him, talked to him. I'm hurt. I'm sure he is, but it's more importantly for me just to be able to uh, support him. I know he's got more opportunities coming his way, and uh, love that guy. Proud of him. Um, number one supporter in here for him no matter what. So the Cowboys' future seems to be secure at running back with Tony Pollard coming off that injury. But as far as Ezekiel Elliott's future, Steve, what do you see from him? Yeah, I think there's something, guys, that probably won't, we probably won't know until post-draft. I mean, teams will go to the draft, look at some of these younger running backs, and see where they stack up. You know, when I look at what's, what's gone with Ezekiel Elliott, I mean, look, he's only 27 years old. He's been in the league for seven seasons, but I think it parallels what we saw with Todd Gurley, right? Just a flaming star for four or five years injuries a lot of wear and tear caught up with him we saw Todd Gurley catch on with the Falcons at the very end but it wasn't really as productive as we thought again I think that's kind of the same track that we're going to see with Ezekiel Elliott and, and frankly what's kind of weird to me is that the Cowboys parted with him knowing how much they love to hang on to players who they're so endeared to yeah the reality here is that if you go back and you watch that playoff game Zeke's best years clearly are behind yeah. him there were openings in the run game there that he simply could not hit the hole. And I'm not saying that to be critical of Zeke. It happens with all running backs at some point. So from my standpoint, I think he's going to have a very tough time finding work somewhere else and sticking, not just finding work, but sticking. Because what he does now, his value is not only in the locker room, but say as a pass protector and whatnot, it is not as a back who is going to get you those big yards. And, and I hate to say that because I like Zeke a lot, but, man, watching that playoff game after Pollard went down, it was tough because there were opportunities there that he simply could not get through the hole on. It's tough to go from being the man to being a guy who maybe has to accept a one-year, $2 million contract. And I think he'll have more competition in the market soon. There's still good young players that are unsigned. Damian Harris uh, for the Patriots is, is one of them, like guys with better bursts. But I'm looking at two veterans, Dalvin Cook. Uh, who could potentially be released. And Joe Mixon, we thought going into the offseason, might be released. He's still on that Bengals roster. They lost some Ajay P. Ryan, so that's another team to watch in terms of their backfield. Yeah. We were both at that Cowboys-Niners playoff game where you saw from the press box those holes wide open from the Cowboys offensive line, and Zeke just couldn't get there the way that Tony Pollard could. It was pretty obvious, but Zeke, a nose for the end zone, perhaps can be a I like it when line. Omar breaks out the scout tape. Uh, hey. <laughs> Do our he, he, he was there. Yeah, I mean, look, he's a team you would think at maybe some point in training camp could be like, we could use somebody like Zeke to be that personal protector, to kind of be a bodyguard, short yardage type of guy. But I just think teams will let, we see this with running backs every year, let the market settle post-draft to see if you want to bring in a veteran free agent. And that typically, again, someone with Zeke's wear and tear and age probably wouldn't happen until training camp. Yeah, but sure. it's an unforgiving league when it comes to veteran running backs. Yeah. We know that. So, you know, they say the best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. We know how teams treat running backs in this league, veteran running backs. Yeah. Well, even ones in their prime, it yeah. might be harder for them to get that big payout the way they once.